Thank you everyone for tuning in. We can yes. talk about this all day long. Uh, let's move on to our second story oh, of yes. the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Feminista Jones is an author, an activist, and a full-time social worker. Oh, I love this. And she has started an online phenomenon. <laughs> um, this has become like a that. huge Twitter trending topic of the day. So basically what she did is she jokingly tweeted a challenge. Okay. Uh, this was on Friday of last week, I think. So it's been around for about a week now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she said this, to piss off a man today, tell him you agree with his compliment of you. Think about that. Okay. To piss off a man, tell him you agree okay, with give me an example. his compliment. Okay, so let me pull up one of the comments here because basically what she was saying is if somebody says, hey, girl, you have beautiful eyes. The girl goes, thanks, I know. Instead of saying, like, Instead of saying like, like, oh, why? Yeah. Thank and like, you. So. Right, right. So here's Aww. another one. Here's another People one. People say that. I never even noticed. Right. Here's another one from, <laughs> from, from Twitter because she's getting all these responses now, right? Okay. So someone shared um, a message thread from their text messages on her page and says, this is what the guy says. Hi, nice body. Woman replies, I know, right? <laughs> Man says, I didn't know that you knew. Sorry about that. She says, how wouldn't I know? I look at it every day. And then he says, actually, you don't really have a good body. You need to hit the gym more. I just wanted to start a conversation. <gasps> so and here the it truth, makes truth just, comes out. Just because it pisses she agreed. Men oh, the truth just comes because out. She agreed. I like I the hair one. Can I share the hair one? Yeah. Okay, so guy named James, because this person blasted James on the internet. Yeah. James says, I love your hair. Girl says, thank you. I do too. James says, careful there, Ziggy. Don't make me like it less. Then the girl says, why would the fact that I like my hair too make you like it less? Of course I like my hair, it's on my head. So, and the guy's like, oh, and they're taking the like, away what? my, like this sort of, and I don't want to use the word control, but this sort of, um, I don't know, like the compliment is supposed to be their like the way or of, of, of coming in and telling yeah. you something that you don't already know. Right. Well, then and a part of that, too, so when the is girl knows. a lot of these look like DMs or messages in that good old inbox. Oh, slide <laughs> into the, <laughs> slide the DMs. Uh, the, the problem is I, a lot of guys don't know how to start a conversation and mm, just tell you what they want from you up front. They'll start with, mm, they focus yeah, on what good, they see. girl. It's and always something to try aesthetic. to segue into that instead of saying, you you know what? I, I think you, you seem really nice. You have a nice personality. Let's, ch let's chit chat. <laughs> like, get to the point, sir. That way, like, <laughs> instead of being like, you look good, ma. And I say, I know you get all in your feelings. Just say what you want up front, and we won't have to deal with it. <laughs> okay. Or stay out of the, the DM. It's true, though. I I don't take compliments, even from my husband. When he's like, you look really pretty in that dress, I'll be like, really? Gosh, that thing was so old. You know, like, I, I have a really hard so time we just try saying. To de saying we try to yes. self defamation. We try to deprecate. We try to deprecate. Like, when's the last time, lady? When's the last time someone complimented you and you said, thanks, I really do like myself in this dress. Or thanks, I really did like my haircut. Or whatever. Well, like, I think, think we're trained train subconsciously as a society, talking about the, the, the females in this society, right? And yeah. I say subconsciously because it's never like my mom sat down and said, hey, when a guy compliments you or when anyone compliments you, um, you know, respond in a way where they don't think that you already know. I mean, th these were never lessons that were taught. Yeah. But it, maybe we learn from the people around us, mm -hmm. or maybe you just feel like, you know, as a human being, you don't want to be so in someone's face, right? Because yeah. then you'll be seen as someone who's just so into themselves. So you become more self-deprecating or a little more humble. Mm -hmm. So when someone says something, you go, oh, really? When you know inside, it, it still makes you feel good. A compliment. We're not saying it doesn't make us feel good. But when you come back with oh yes, I already know, then it hurts the man's ego because they think they're telling you something that you don't already know. And it's like, I get what she was trying to do, but what was her overall point, do you think? I think she was just starting, trying to have a conversation. I mean, it got us talking about it. And I think part of it is she's an, she's an activist and Kay. she calls herself a feminist. So I think she's saying women own it. If you feel like you look good, it's okay to say you look good. If a man tells you you're pretty, agree with them. Know that you're pretty. So I think do you it was think more men though are off put? Men are off put by the confidence. Yes. And do you guys see that in dating? That if a woman's too confident, you're not going to get the date. And well, then what does that do for? You, you gotta play the game too. I think it could be both things. Yeah. Cause the same react, we get the same reaction when in, under the topic of street harassment. Like when you walking down the mm. street, smile, ma. I, I don't want to smile. Yeah. And then when you say something the whistle. back, you get an attitude. You get oh, an attitude. Yeah. They say, well, why you got an attitude? Leave mm -hmm. me alone. Like, yeah. can I just live? So yeah. I <laughs> can I just live? I think I just she was trying to point out from what I took from it. Why do we get certain reactions? 
when we give honest answers? Like why? Mm. Like what's up with what's up with their reaction to this? Because let's say I do say, you know what, I do look good. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Why does that make you mad? Yeah. So we why are you mad? So was she trying to maybe say like we need to tr- train using that lightly? We need to train society how to treat us. Right, because if you go around saying that you're taking compliments, right, it, it, you're basically telling the man that you can tell me anything you want. I'm confident in myself, so we need to we need to have stronger men in the world who, well, who don't a, get so sensitive over things like thought. that. Yeah, I think that might be part of it, but I also think it changes the conversation. If the man thinks the only mm-hmm. way that he can start the conversation is by that aesthetics. compliment, is okay. by aesthetics. What if we took away that whole conversation in general? So then what does it lead to? <laughs> so Bill piped in my ear and he said he thinks, our producer Bill, he thinks it's because men are trying to find a new hook to get a woman's attention and at That's this point new. they're trying anything. But compliments have been around forever. Yeah, compliments have been around forever. Right? That's not new. Okay, so what would we rather mm-hmm. have? Okay, let's just mm-hmm. straight up. Okay, so a guy doesn't come at you with, hey, Dang, like, like you I'm look gonna, so well, I'm not good. Gonna lie. When my husband compliments me, I like it. Yeah, let's not. Let's you know, not like, hide I, the I don't want it that. to stop. But I think it's the. I think it's what is that person really saying, and are, do they really have meaning behind it, or is it just on a first date? And you're like, there's more to me than just my look. Yeah, as a single, as someone who's single, yeah, let's and get in, and, and, and people reaching out. You can see right through it. So mm-hmm. when you get the DM or the text out of nowhere with the with the you look good or I like your hair or the compliment, especially if you've never spoken to me and that's the first thing you lead in with, I'm already I'm already coming in with it thinking you're a So what do you want? What do you for. want in the, in the beginning? Hey, how are you? I'm so-and-so. Like, you know what I mean? Like, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm James. I know we don't know each other, but I just want to say what's up. Mm. But like, as soon as you lead now, in I with wanna say nice that. legs, my, and then I'm like, oh, here we go with this. He's and trying it, to just you, slide into the DM. Yeah, you just yeah. try, it, it, it just approach people the way you want them to talk to you. Yeah. So yeah. I think, I don't know. And I think a guy would say, well, I would love it if a girl came at me with like, dang, like your body is so nice. Guy, I mean, I feel like guys are in, <laughs> Caesar would love that if every day I was like, out of nowhere. damn, okay. boo, you <laughs> are fine. Our camera operator, Mason. Nod the camera if you like complimenting women. Is that a way that you start conversations? Why? Yeah, it is. Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's what it's what girls it's what guys think girls want to hear. See, so this is mm-hmm. us as uh-huh. females need to let our men know, and it starts okay. with this activist yeah. to say, okay, we're in 2017. We've heard it all at this point. Social media, we have guys sliding to the DMs right. way too much, even when you're a married woman. So we want to challenge the men then to think a little deeper and get off the aesthetics, leave that for maybe the third date, and and come in with, hey, how are you doing? Well, like, because so, yeah, let's put it, I, let's, we need to spell it out. Say, we, we need to spell it out. We need to spell it out. Dina's spell it sitting out. right next to me, and I'm a guy, and here's Dina, and okay. I come up to Dina, and I'm yeah. like, you looking good in that dress. Like, you're going to be like, no. <laughs> like, whoa. Get up. I'm going to say, get away from so, me. So take that from us being side by side and then just putting it into a DM. Right. You looking good. And like, you're like, whoa. You like, disregard thanks. it. You disregard yeah. it. Thanks. Mason, you were going to say something. I was going to say Crazy. it also depends on what the man says because of what he wants. Does he want, want, you know, just kind of a one night out or does he want to... Oh, what are his intentions? If you want to grow Mm. long term, maybe don't start with Like with you, when someone says, ooh, I like your body, like where where would the next comment come from? I'm like, you know. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Or, or, <laughs> or based on, I don't or, know what else to or say. Or based on the, the, the article or the, the experiment, it is dope, right? And yes. I, you know, like, yes. Yeah, I'm going to try to say it. And then I feel, and that's just like personality based. Like, it would yeah. be a cool experiment, but I feel like then I'd be saying, yes, I know. And to me, that's a little well, that's narcissistic. What, no, that's what someone, so Kimberly Morgan said, I used to reply back in the day, oh, thank you, and then go about my business. Yeah, <laughs> because so she's I, saying, yeah, that's what I did. Like, I'm not going to bring myself down and be like, no, you're being too kind. I'll just be like, yeah. Well, thank you, because I thank you for the compliment. I'll take that and, and eat it up. <laughs> not so agree here's the it. deal. I think it, it depends on if you're single or not, <laughs> right? Because I think women who are in relationships sometimes like to hear that from their significant others. Women who are single, probably not the best approach as the first, as the first sentence the first back sentence. to each other. Yeah, when so you, is that the consensus? When you're hubbied up, you better be getting the compliment. Yeah, yeah. Are they doing? I agree. Yeah, no. <laughs> Caesar, disregard this conversation. Caesar, no one, want Jamal no one told her she nowhere, has a great body, like, but you, baby. Yeah, you don't want the Jamal, <laughs> Jamal. to be like out of nowhere. Get a nice leg, like sir. <laughs> say hi. Say <laughs> hi. Happen to 
hey, I'm Jamal. But, but, on, it, but, but on the Mason's real, point, Camelia does have nice legs. She but does. to come so in, like, slide in, like, yo, Dina, nice legs. Like, yo, I don't even know you, Jamal. <laughs> but to Mason's point, if all Jamal wants is to get in the sheets. Oh, not to go whoa. too far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And yeah. that's where that conversation starts. True. And you know what I mean? If that's all he wants, if he's not trying to find a wife, then yeah. he probably isn't going to come at you with anything other than, look at your legs, girl. <laughs> She's trying to and be Dean Jamal. That's Jamal. That's Jamal. No, that was, that was Jared. <laughs> that was Jared. <laughs> that was Sean. <laughs> Jared. It's Richard. Well, Cesar over here is just goes straight into the con. I mean, he's really good at that. So, anywho, um, are we going to talk Starbucks? We can yeah, quickly 